Hey there, Internet. It's me, Broken Terrain. And my last video was such a hit and I had such amazing comments that I had to do a sci-fi industrial remix. Check it out right after the drop. In this video, I've decided to focus more on the on the stamp creation. I got a lot of questions about that. I did send some people to the OG DM Scotty, who uh, showed me how to make the stamp. But I thought I would take this opportunity to make my own stamp. So I'm going to do a sci-fi version of it. I'm going to start by getting some of that ready board from the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar twenty-five now a sheet, but it's still a great deal. Um, it's loved by crafters because you can peel the paper off easily. I'm going to cut that into three inch squares. You can see I've been sketching out some ideas for my sci-fi tiles and I focused on these two. Um, I do like the idea of maybe incorporating some of that uh, granny grating as uh, as paneling, but <laughs> after I did the uh, the vent, I was done adding things <laughs> that weren't foam. So I only did three, um, but you'll see them later on. So the first stencil is going to be a, a large two inch uh, by two inch square uh, sheet. And then it's ringed by uh, you know, two two by ones and a one inch square to get my three by three inch stamp. I'm going to score and cut and then dig out a nice little trench uh, in between each tile, really creating a separation uh, just because I've got a, a bit more experience with the stamps from last project. I'm hoping that the uh, the nice wider uh, gutter between the tiles is going to help. And then I want these to read space or or what's that mean? <laughs> I want them to look like uh, bolted on metal panels. So I try to find some kind of way to measure out uh, some little triangle bits so I can cut the corners off of each of my squares. Um, I thought I found something that would work. Ultimately, I just kind of freehand because um, you've only got to freehand the one template. Uh, I try to even it up as best I can, and I think it looks pretty good. With a uh, poker tool, I'm going to poke some like bolt or rivet holes in each corner of the of the styrofoam panels. And then uh, with my stamp looking just about finished, remember we want no texture on this because we want it to be like a flat metal uh, panel. I'm going to grab a th uh, three by three two inch block of uh, XPS foam and hot glue my stamp down to it. This is going to act like a handle so I can hold on to it, target it just right and really give the stamp some pressure on the canvas. And now that the stamp is down and the um, the dollar store foam is less uh, breakable because it's glued down upon the the larger piece of XPS foam. I'm going to go back over those holes with my poker, really widen them up so I really get a good texture when I'm stamping. Now I'm going to do my vent uh, stamp. Almost identical except the two inch by two inch block is this time it's going to have a circle inside it and that's going to be like a, a vent or great cover. And then each of the corners is going to be a small little uh, plate. That way I can continue with the little triangled corners. And I really I'm hoping that these um, punched holes in the plates uh, come out looking really good. They're what I'm really hoping will sell the look. Just going to rip the backing off that glue this one down as well. And this though where this one differs is I'm going to take some craft stick that was the same thickness as my foam core and I'm going to glue it down as ribs of the vent. And uh, I score out some lines so I know where to place them and so that I can actually sink it down into the foam just slightly with a little hot glue so that it really holds this rib in place. So, so all of them hold in place because I will be putting some pressure on this stamp as I paint with it. Just like last time, I got a great deal on a five pack of canvases. Thank you, Michaels. I love shopping at Michaels Art Store. You should sponsor me, Michaels. 
<laughs> They've got great uh, great deals on canvases going on right now. I think it was twelve ninety nine. I got a five pack of these sixteen by twenty black canvases. I'm gonna use a half inch piece of XPS foam underneath, and that's gonna keep the canvas from sagging as I go and uh, do my stamping. And then with a, a gunmetal color, I'm going to cover my stamp well but not too much because if you do too much it'll splat out <laughs> first one was a little rough i am hoping for better though i do have a plan this time i've learned from my first uh time doing this project and i'm i was planning on some bare spots and uh i just love uh how they end up turning out uh, this is the grading stamp here Again, just covering it with the right amount of paint, not too little, not too much. And I found these stamps I had, I maybe got two punches out of and then had to cover them with a little bit more. Oh, is that my gross elbow? I don't know. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but then it's just stamp, stamp, stamp. And I have three stamps in total. I have... Uh, a third stamp that I did that is, um, you can see I've placed it there on the table. It's three strips. The middle strip is a full three by one, and then the two by ones and the one by ones help to uh, give that subtle me uh, measurement um, just by eyeballing it. And so I found that third stamp really helped break up the monotony of the tile. And then again, I had to hit it with that paint marker. And I went to Michael's to uh, to get a new one. And my goodness, they've got two packs of white, two packs of black, and a two pack of a silver and gold. I couldn't believe it. I was absolutely pumped. And I thought, man, if that silver pops like, uh, like I'm hoping it would, I will use it instead of white. And it did. That step cannot be skipped. I mentioned it last video and I'll just reiterate, you cannot skip that step. It's what really gives that 3D effect when the whole board is done. Now to handle the, um, the parts of the stamp that didn't fill out, I'm gonna make it look like rust, like rusted panels. So I'm gonna go in with a sponge and I don't like the sponge technique. I much preferred, um, the brush and stippling, which I will go back to in the next step. Uh, maybe you have better time with the sponges. Maybe it's because I didn't trim and sculpt my sponge tip, but I found it incredibly difficult to control the, uh, the where I was placing my burnt sienna or my reddish brown color here. Still turns out pretty good. Then I want a nice bright orange red and you can see I've gone back to the paintbrush. I'm just gonna stipple it down the edges of uh, where I put down that uh, burnt sienna rust. So it's gonna go from the bright orange red to the burnt sienna to your gunmetal. And uh, it's incredibly forgiving, incredibly fun. And I started to really, really get crazy painting rust in. And uh, it looks amazing. I absolutely love it. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the comments and suggestions. This craft exists because of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking an interest in the first one. And thank you for lending your ideas. I'm in love with this. I turned to a blue and a red. I've decided to paint some wires exposed wires from underneath those rusted panels. So wherever um, it it lends itself to it, uh, you can't push it too much. But whenever you get a, a nice rusty spot where the stamps have left a bit of black, I do a little strip of red, a little strip of blue. Um, I try to keep them in pairs to sell the idea or the concept that it's wiring. And I love it. I think it really adds to that 3D effect. Now it's back to the uh, covering that sheet of foam core with fender washers at every two inch 
uh, spot that's going to allow the magnetic interior walls to continue to work and now you're going to have a massive table that you can use those walls on and uh, however i don't have any sci-fi any modern or any industrial um, interior walls so i cannot wait that is going to be my next craft i'm going to make some walls for this awesome board then it's uh you glue those panels in then you uh, you use some craft hinges. I picked the craft hinges up from the Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to uh, first connect pairs of panels. Again, make sure and do this as you're doing the the lining. Make sure you're doing that in mind for every panel to connect together. Does that make sense? Uh, try to plan ahead with your painting so that when you assemble, all the panels face the same way. Uh, it's just that easy. Then I use some clamps to attach the hinges. And boy, oh boy, we got our finished sci-fi industrial foldable portable tabletop. So what'd you think? Did you like this video? Smash that like button if you did. If you want to see more stuff like this, please hit that subscribe button. Share the video with family and friends. It would really help me out. If you want to help the channel out even more, there's a super thanks. It's like giving me a tip or buying me a coffee. I'd really appreciate it. And I got a link to my subscribe star for $10 a month. You can get a copy of my pen and paper game. Uh, it's in testing right now and it's amazing. I think you'll love it. Thank you so much, everybody. I brought it outside. My daughter was uh, was wondering what I was up to and she came out to investigate. And we had some fun putting down some figures and some terrain. And uh, boy, <laughs> I'm really lacking in, uh, in sci-fi industrial terrain, but um, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna, uh, particularly with this next craft. I can't wait to do some walls, some interior walls for my, my Marines to hunt maybe the bowels of an old ship or a rusted out city. But until then, you can see my Marines are guarding my slurm tank. I've got a couple tipped over barrels. So they're going to have to clean that up. <laughs> Man, I love this board. The rust looks incredible. What a great way to handle those messed up stamps. The little strips of wire really give it a 3D effect like there's something underneath. Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked this craft as much as I loved making it. Thank you so much. As always, like each other, love each other, and craft on.